What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can use your GoPro with the DJI Osmo Mobile. Now the version I'll be using in this video is the GoPro Hero 4 Black, but all of the other versions of GoPro will work the same exact way, whether you have the 3 or the brand new Hero 5. In this video we're going to take a look at a few different things. First of all, the supplies that we will need. Second of all, the procedures that we'll need to take in order to make this work properly. And third of all, some test footage. So stick around as I go step by step and show you guys just how to do this. Starting off here, we're going to take a look at some of the things that we need to make this work. First of all, of course, you need the DJI Osmo Mobile. Second off, you need the GoPro camera, whether it's the Hero 3, Hero 4, Hero 5, or some of the older models, all of them should work just fine. And third, you're going to need some rubber bands. Now, as far as the rubber bands go, you don't want to have those little bitch rubber bands that are super thin. You want to make sure they're a bit thicker and also tight so that it stays on there nice and snug. Moving on to our preparation, we want to take the waterproof housing off of the GoPro Hero and make sure there's no mounts attached. Just the naked camera will work the best. Next up, we want to adjust the arm on the Osmo Mobile itself. As you know, once you loosen the knob, it will be able to slide back and forth. This allows you to counteract weight for larger phones, but because the GoPro is so small, we want to push it in as far as we can and lock the knob. Looking at the grip that will actually hold the GoPro itself, as you can see, you can open it and close it again for bigger or smaller phones, but we want to make it as small as possible because the GoPro is super tiny. Now that we've finished all of our preparation, it's time to put the GoPro on the Osmo Mobile itself. First of all, take your rubber band and fold it over so that it's a little bit smaller. This is going to make sure that the GoPro stays on there nice and snug and doesn't move around while recording. Stretch it out and wrap it around and put it closer to the right side of the clamp. Looking at the back side, we want to make sure that it's just over the knob. Take the next rubber band and do the same thing as the first by doubling it over to make it smaller. This time, put it farther towards the left of the clamp. Using two of these rubber bands at the same time will ensure that the camera stays nice and steady during filming. Before we slide the GoPro under the rubber bands on the Osmo, we want to make sure that everything is good. What I mean by that is make sure the battery is in, make sure the SD card is in, turn the camera on, and then from there, make sure the Wi-Fi is on so you can control the camera from your phone. Now we're ready to slip the GoPro in between the rubber bands. Now my reasoning to put the rubber bands on first rather than holding the GoPro there is because it's a little bit cumbersome and a little tricky to try to hold the GoPro in place while strapping the rubber bands around. So it's a lot easier just to slip it in. Make sure that once you get it in there, it's nice and centered so that your shot isn't tilted in any way. Now the final thing that we have to do before we can head out and film is place a piece of tape over this sensor. The sensor is there so that the Osmo Mobile only turns on if it detects a phone in the clamp itself. So because the GoPro is so small, you want to put a piece of tape over to kind of trick it into thinking there's a phone inside, and a piece of scotch tape will work just perfectly. After completing all of the steps that I have listed, you can go ahead and turn the Osmo Mobile on and see if everything works. You want to make sure that the gimbal is calibrated nice and center, nothing tilted off to the side. From there, you can open up the GoPro app on your phone and start filming. Now that we're finished with the procedure of how to set this thing up, we're going to take a look at some test footage. First of all, I have a comparison of me walking and running with the GoPro in the Osmo Mobile and then with the GoPro out of the Osmo Mobile just in my hands. After that, I've got some test cinematic footage to show you guys. It's nothing special, I just went out into the backyard and shot some things just to give you guys a glimpse at what it looks like. Before we get into this test footage, I just want to give you guys a quick warning. Whenever you go to throw this inside of your bag, make sure to take the tape off of the sensor. You don't want this accidentally turning on and calibrating in your bag as it could burn out one of the motors. Our first set of tests is going to be with the GoPro inside of the Osmo Mobile. The first clip will be of me walking, the second will be of me running, and the third will be a vlogging point of view, just to show you guys how effective this can be. Our next set of tests is going to be me holding the camera with my bare hands. I did not use the stabilizer to hold the GoPro itself, and I also didn't add any stabilization in post. Again, our first clip is going to be of me walking, the second will be of me running, and the third will be a vlogging point of view. For 
for a final set of tests, let's put them side to side to see how they compare. Again, the first shot will be walking, second will be running, and the third will be that vlogging perspective. <laughs> So that about wraps up this video. Just to quickly address something, yes, you do have to hold the Osmo Mobile backwards when using the GoPro, just so that this wide field of view won't get that motor towards the back. But it does feel comfortable in the hand and won't feel all too awkward. I think that this device works a lot better with the GoPro compared to my iPhone 7 Plus, so I think that in the future, if I do plan on using this, I'll probably stick with the GoPro. But anyway, again, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I don't wanna be alone